Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another styling uh, slash haul video. Uh, last time I did my spring haul try on video, you guys loved it and I got so many good feedback. So I'm continuing the trend and plus I have so many beautiful dresses to show you. So this video is going to be, um, I would call it spring summer dresses. Um, try on haul. I think for this video I'm gonna try to do my best to describe uh, also not only the style but also the fabric. So this one I featured it in one of my other videos earlier videos uh, and it's a beautiful dress. This is by Romwe and it has it basically is a block dress a line short mini dress and it's super flattering on petite gals because it is a shorter dress but I think this is very easy to style in fact because it's so flowy and it has nice pockets in front it almost looks like it's a romper this gray portion looks just like shorts when you're wearing it so it's super cute it's so easy to style this dress very casually it goes really really well with heels but it also goes really well with just like sneakers which is amazing uh, a very I probably will be traveling with this dress because it's just so easy to walk in and to wear. In terms of fabric, I really like it. It has a nice uh, semi-stretch, heavier but not super heavy fabric. It is synthetic. I'm pretty sure I got this in the size extra small. By the way, I will leave all the links down below and the sizes that I got. And I'll talk about the sizes that I recommend getting to. Uh, but most importantly, you should just measure yourself uh, and make sure that the sizes of each garment corresponds to your measurements. This is another dress by Romwe, and it's a nice floral, really beautiful floral. Um, it's a nice, very flowy uh, fabric. It's also man-made fabric, but this is a very soft fabric. It drapes really nice. The only thing is, I, based on the measurements, uh, especially for this one, I based it on my waist, to order the size that I thought I needed and I guess I ordered a medium I didn't even realize that and it turned out to be super big on me it's too big and so uh, what I end up ended up doing in the styling part I kind of tucked in the uh, the shoulder part and made it into like a little tank <laughs> tank top area instead of, of leaving it as a short sleeve uh, it has cutouts here on the sleeve. I think for this dress, you can probably go with your actual size. So I think it should be true to size because the dress is actually quite flowy. And I was worried that I wouldn't fit the, the waist because it says that the fabric is non-stretchy. But I didn't realize that it has a, basically a whole band of elastic in the back. So it's actually real. <laughs> it's actually stretchy in the waist area. It's just that the fabric itself wasn't stretchy and it's super long. So in case you guys haven't realized yet, I am such a sucker for dresses. I've loved dresses since I was a kid. I always try to ask my mom at the beginning of spring, can I wear a dress? Can I wear a dress to school? And every time it's a no because it's still way too cold. But um, nonetheless, <laughs> so this is another floral. This is a beautiful polyester dress. It's lined throughout. It's also super long, super flowy. A nice maxi dress, pretty easy to style. I would not hesitate to wear sneakers or just like flat sandals or flats underneath because no one will see my shoe anyway. So along with the sneakers or sandals, I would probably pair this with a nice denim jacket on top as long as you have like a nice crop jacket and it just kind of breaks it down a little bit and gives you a little bit more shape. This one is more stretchy and this one is more soft like cotton. Uh, this one is definitely a little bit more polyester e if that makes sense and so it's not as soft as the earlier ones but it's still a really nice floral and as long as you don't mind that feeling and as long as you don't tend to get staticky because i tend to get staticky a lot okay moving on is a couple of cotton or cotton blend fabrics and they're both striped so this one i've already featured in my last video i wore it during the video and it is a off the shoulder top uh, it has an elastic band here in the front and it has these trumpet style <laughs> sleeves that I was um, I was corrected by one of you which is great, thank you so much. Sometimes the words just don't come out from my mouth even though I know the terms 
um, I pretty much blame that on the fact that I sometimes get confused with all the languages that I have in my head but you guys know what I mean I love the high low hem on this one and it's quite flowy it's actually more comfortable than I thought because I, I think the off shoulder trend has been out for quite a while now and I've always been sort of like wary of of trying it just because I didn't know if it was going to be comfortable especially with tops like this you need uh you know either a strapless bra or some sort of like bras that you can wear underneath comfortably and I never thought that I would you know feel super comfortable with this one but and also I never thought that maybe a top like this maybe it would fall a certain way or I don't know uh, but I, it ended up being super comfortable for me uh, I have it in size small so you probably want to measure around uh, where your arms are too and because I I'm petite I think I have a smaller body frame but I don't have the smallest arms so I think uh, I'm glad that I went with size small instead and it was perfect it wasn't too tight or anything um, yeah like I mentioned in my other t video this they did sort of made a mistake here I'll definitely let them know so there it looks a it looks slightly better now so I I style it with a brooch when I wore it in my video but all in all I really like it and um, I think if you want to try on the uh, off the shoulder trend this is a really cute top to try here's another beautiful beautiful uh, ruffle detail dress this is also a stripe and cottony fabric so I think it's a cotton blend I got it in a size extra small and I think this one actually runs small for the arms area that's why I was saying that uh, I was glad that I got the small on that one because I was trying to figure out whether it would constrict my arm I didn't think it would be a problem for this one but it turned out that this one was actually quite tight so um, I had already filmed myself styling it but uh, afterwards I went ahead and I just took out the elastic part on the sleeve and I just uh, sew it back without the elastic so it looks like this but then it's actually a way more comfortable now because you also have to even though it fits me uh, when I was wearing it you also have to take into account moving your arms right or driving you don't really have to worry so much about the waist area I mean you should still look at the measurements of the waist but it's actually quite flowy and you just cinch it in with the belt that it comes with uh, it's very long the fabric so it's a really nice long dress uh, and it's um, yeah I don't think it's see-through or anything it's just a lighter fabric so it's very appropriate for summer and uh, yeah the only thing I would probably look at is the bust area and also maybe take into account the arms area because uh, some people have larger chest but super small arms and some people have the opposite so I'm kind of the opposite I really like it I think it's super cute uh, again it's so long on me anyway that I can probably style it with sneakers flats Heels, it doesn't really matter and I like the versatility but you can also use one of your own belts to cinch in that dress yeah, the next dress is this beautiful red dress and it has trumpet style sleeves again and it's see-through the sleeves are see-through and the body is just this beautiful short mini dress and on the model it looks so pretty and I was really attracted to this not only because of the color you guys love the red dress from my previous video so not only because of the color but I really like the um, cut out sort of lacy material I don't even know how I to call this it's not embroidery so with this dress I think it's best to size up because it does fit me but then again like I said you have to take into account moving your arms and because this fabric is a see-through and very delicate fabric on the sleeves um, like I said it fits me but I didn't want to move my arms so drastically because I felt like I was going to rip it uh, and so I think maybe the fabric of this one could use a bit of stretch or you should just basically size up it's definitely more on the dressy side so I would definitely pair it with some nice silver heels or just some nice pumps another dress from Make Me Chic and this is just a plain black dress with a very oversized bow details on the sleeve plain black dress other than the oversized details on the sleeves and the fabric is much thicker man-made material so it's uh, I guess it's 
pretty appropriate for fall or spring when it's a bit colder. So I would probably style this with a nice brooch because it's quite plain in the front here or uh, if I wanted to keep the, the dress more plain then I would probably style it with some long earrings and just a pair of nice pumps. This is also from Make Me Chic and this is a super cute uh, cut out shoulder, cold shoulder dress. It's a mini dress and it has two layers of, I think it's polyester, basically man-made fabric. It actually is, it has really cute sleeve details too. It's flowy. Again, this one, I think you can probably size up. This dress is a little bit more see-through though, so I do recommend wearing a slip underneath. Or definitely at least a nude bra. So it's halfway through my haul now and I just want to mention that the ones that I just showed you earlier, they're very affordable. They're definitely fast fashion. If you're younger, you're in college or you're in high school, university or whatnot and you don't have the budget, these places are the best place to go for <laughs> getting things that are trendy. When you graduate and when you're working and stuff like that, you can invest in key pieces that are classic, comfortable and timeless basically so I'm so excited to show you what's next because um, these these dresses I'm gonna show you are out of this world they're so beautiful and I'm like I said I'm always impressed with Style We they're one of those companies where I know I haven't even tried them all of yet but um, I know they are like so good quality they also have the best packaging they have Individually, every garment is packaged in these beautiful <laughs> Ziploc bags. I'm not sure if I actually mentioned that in my past hauls. But yeah, each of them have their own scan codes. Each garment has, has their own um, tags that has the fabric, the composition and all that. And then of course it comes in like a nice envelope receipt like that. It's really, really cool. It comes with... <laughs> It comes with so much detail. You do get what you pay for. It is higher end and it is uh, more on the pricier side, but their stuff is just out of this world. It's so beautiful. And for the price that you pay, I think these are actually worth more. Um, and I have a couple of these coupons here that they sent me, which I'm going to share with you guys. I'm pretty sure I can share it. So yeah, this is one of the coupon codes that I got from them it's good until end of May so the more you spend the more you save and yeah they come with instructions for returns and exchanges with style we also they have individual independent designers for each of their brands so it, they encompass a lot of the designers local whatnot and they make such beautiful things they use beautiful material they have beautiful cuts. I can pretty much close my eyes and order anything from that site. I went ahead and ordered quite a few items that are more on the delicate side and more intricate because um, I knew that, you know, that it would look really, really good and it in fact did. So anyway, so this is a beautiful lacy material dress, lacy cutout dress, but I feel like this lace has... It doesn't have a lot of give, but when I ordered this, and I went with my um, measurements and when I got them, I was like, whoa, it looks quite big. But then when I put it on, then I knew why, because they took into account the fact that you need to move your arms and things like that. So it looks a bit oversized when I got it, but it's actually the right size. It's like lacy cutout fabric here on the top. There's like a bohemian band here as a decoration. So it kind of dresses it down a little bit, but you can still dress it up because it's so cute. And then the bottom has this almost like silk-like uh, print cutout on it. It's so beautiful and the bottom has this nice clear band. And then it has a slip underneath as well and the slip is built in to this dress. And the sleeves are see-through. It's so beautiful. I just... I was amazed. I think the level of details, even the piping around of the um, the collar, great attention to detail, especially in the craftsmanship. You can tell just by looking at the uh, so the seam the, that is underneath the garment that no one can see. They still like wrapped it, and all the seams from the sleeves are wrapped so that you don't get this itchiness from the the lacy fabric. It's just so well thought out, it's so well designed. 
Uh, there's like a nice little pearl button here in the back toggle button closure it's so pretty it comes with all these tags that are attached to each garment and uh, yeah it, it has their own sort of instructions labels and things like that which they don't all have in those other cheaper more affordable clothing that I got um, so yeah such a beautiful dress I think this is easily dressed down also just because of this bohemian part here but you can easily dress it up as well with a nice pair of pumps or strappy heels or oh so pretty I, I cannot get over it I think it has so much detail already or it has enough details already that I don't I don't need to add anything to it I might just pair it with some nice long earrings this is another style it has these uh, see-through sort of mesh fabric in it and finished with these beautiful edges beautiful um i don't even know what to call it like a beautiful gold cut out ribbon throughout all this all these i mean look at this embroidery on it it's it's amazing and then of course uh, the dress itself has a light tulle it has two layers of light tulle and then it has these gold beads hand sewn on it because it's these are not glued it's such a neutral peach color that pretty much goes with any skin tone i think but look at all these details this dress is amazing i couldn't believe my eyes when i saw that it was also on sale too when when i was like looking at it okay and i was really surprised because it came and it says size large but when i tried it on i was like okay i understand because you need to take into account that these kinds of fabrics they don't really stretch or anything so you do need to be a little bit more flowy in it and it looks so beautiful it drapes so beautifully i was super impressed with this one it was so beautiful um i i couldn't i couldn't it was just one of those princessy super like I don't know almost like vintage feel dress the cutout lace doesn't stop there I have another one so this is one of those other ones that has a cutout shoulder and uh, it's it's so pretty it's also a line short and this one has uh, it has sequins on it on the flowers it's amazing the their attention to detail is just out of this world it's really really pretty and of course it looks see-through right but it does come with a slip uh, and so here's the slip that it comes with. it's just standard black slip but the material of the slip is very soft it almost feels like silk is it silk let me see I don't remember I mean I, when I was ordering I, I did pay attention but um, it's been a while oh it just says 100% polyester but it feels like silk it's so soft it's so so pretty like this is another one of those dresses that um, it's so dressy in itself already because of the uh, sequins the back doesn't have sequins but the front does and it has these like oh black beads it has black sequins and it has like one it has these like diamantes on it so pretty easily just you know wear it with some nice droopy earrings oh lovely and uh, apparently i got it in size medium i like peachy pinks i like salmon pinks i just don't like the barbie pinks uh that's just my personal preference and uh yeah i they turn out to be colors that really suit my skin tone so i'm really glad this is another one of those really pretty dresses this is a cotton fabric actually but it has this Asian inspired neckline I thought it was so pretty and it's super long of course black is always gonna be you know one of the colors that I need to order um, so yeah I got this really nice wrap dress it's hard to show you here <laughs> but it has a really nice neckline it's very like streamlined and the sleeves have these nice butterfly details it's like a faux wrap dress again because 
you can't really unwrap it it's already sewn in so it's a little uh, the fabric is very heavyweight it's a cotton blend very heavyweight so definitely good for fall it has pockets so amazing and it, again it has this uh, high low hem as well it has these little uh, metal hardware on it most of this haul is more of an online haul but I do have a few more pieces that I bought it in person this is a tweed dress that I bought from Banana Republic I had my eye on it for a long time and I kind of went in and tried it and then didn't buy it sometimes I wonder if I should go with the petite size because sometimes I feel like the regular sizes are a little bit long uh, and that is always true for jackets whenever I buy their jackets I have to go to petite size um, so for this for, so for this dress I wasn't sure until I tried on the petite and the petite was actually too too short actually so I am glad that they still had it available I have it in the regular size zero and it's such a beautiful material this is a tweed material has this nice frilly thingies it looks great with a brooch this was such a beautiful dress that I actually went ahead and bought the jacket that is made in the same material so it's on its way I bought it online and uh, I got it on sale it was pretty good so I don't know if that jacket is still available but I'll still link it down below in case you guys are interested I just thought that the material was so nice and it felt so nice that I you know I just wanted something different a few jeans that I bought from the Gap and um, I've always loved their girlfriend jeans their, their best girlfriend cut is really really flattering uh, I don't have the most generous hips I think my body type is more rectangle if that makes sense but I, I don't think I'm super rectangle either I just I'm just not super curvy I guess uh, but I'm not I'm not slim to the point where I have no curves if that makes any sense and um, I feel like the best girlfriend cut is very very suitable for me because it doesn't have too much extra fabric in the hip area but it is streamlined enough and um, sort of relaxed enough that it makes the uh, leg portion pretty I don't know balance or whatever so I bought three pairs of jeans at the Gap and I thought uh, they would look really great with basically any t-shirts so I bought a white pair the best low stretch best girlfriend um, mid-rise easy through the hips and thighs slim leg and skims the ankle cut so yeah I got it in the size 24 and they fit me really really well I don't have a pair of white pants or jeans anymore so I thought these were really really nice because I saw these details here so this all along the leg but you can't really tell unless you're really close it has a bit of it also on the pockets here in the back and I just thought that um, it looked really nice when I tried it on so probably with one of those uh, pink shirts, pink t-shirts that I have uh, half tucked in or whatnot it would look really really great and great for the summer so I got this other one that has those pre-painted <laughs> pre-distressed um, hems and it, it basically looks like a painter's pants it's pretty distressed here on this leg and I thought it was pretty cool I normally don't go for something like this but it was on sale and uh, I thought it was so casual that it would it would look super cute with super casual clothes so I think this would look super cute with you know that really long sweatshirt that I have that says just do it later this and that goes so well and then last but not least this is the actual reason why I went into the store because I wanted to get these jeans uh, but then I saw those other two on sale so I just got it at the same time so this pair is the the one that I that I really liked um, I got this one in the size 30 24 and um, like I said I'm gonna try to link everything down below and I really like this one because it has a lighter wash but it has some distressing but the distressing is not see-through it actually is patched underneath and I thought the cut on this one and also the uh, the fabric on this one is a little thicker so I thought it was a nice really substantial pair of jeans and it's easy through the hips and so it's so comfortable that I feel like it's a great pair of jeans to wear in the airport because usually I hate wearing jeans at the airport just because 
all I have are skinny jeans and skinny jeans are not very comfortable if you have to sit for hours in them even though they have stretch uh, so I thought this was super cute and again I thought this also paired super super well with just a nice blazer even if it's more dressy on top but more laid back on the bottom it just it looks so good like i said these videos take a long time to make but i'm really glad that you guys enjoyed them uh, thank you so much for watching this video if you're new uh, welcome to my channel and i hope that you stick around by subscribing and so that you can keep up to date with all my videos the upload schedule is on monday but i do sometimes and quite often have bonus videos throughout the week um, but just in case you guys should subscribe and also push that notification that little bell beside the subscribe button because I know that YouTube is I don't know they're changing things around and it's kind of a little bit uh, weird at the moment that some people just don't see us posting new videos so and if you're already a subscriber thank you again for your endless support and yeah I hope you guys are doing great I'm Amy and I will talk to you again very soon bye